so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is jb23 vlog for today's video guys i would like to share how to overhaul the accumulator of the main engine so our main engine guys is 6s50me does b 9.3 so this is an electronic engine guys we had a problem of the hydraulic power supply accumulator so we cannot charge the accumulator due to the leakage of the membrane so that is our suspicion guys so as you can see in the video we had already detached the accumulator assembly so as you can see guys the special tool is already welded has welded from the deck or the engine side guys or the from the workshop so just hover the lock the locking device of the accumulator guys that's the special tool of the accumulator just hammer and turn until it will remove so we can detach the accumulator so this is the lifting bolt of the accumulator cover top cover guys so the membrane is from the other half or the lower part only guys so that is our suspicion when we overhaul when we had uh, refilling the nitrogen gas the thing is we cannot refill the this accumulator due to due to some leakage guys so our suspicion is to replace the accumulator membrane so this is how to overhaul guys if you are interested in this kind of video please keep watching as you can see guys this is the membrane and there is a lot of oil in this membrane in that case guys that means the membrane is damaged or it has some leakage as you can see this is the broken part of the membrane the other half so that's the problem guys so here I am now I am taking out the membrane itself so right now guys we will detach the accumulator membrane just take note guys you have to observe how it is looks and there is a backup ring or this is a backup ring of the membrane as you can see guys the lower part or the bottom part of the accumulator is badly damaged so in this case guys we cannot use it this accumulator the old one so this is necessary to replace with the new spares this kind of engine guys the checking of the nitrogen gas is in every 500 hours of main engine so that is how it works as you can see guys I demonstrated how the accumulator works with the hydraulic oil pressure that's the motion of the accumulator so once the accumulator membrane is leaking guys so it will not work so regarding with this we have to check regularly all the accumulator guys so here we can the new spare of accumulator membrane and that important thing is to clean thoroughly all the casing or the other half of the accumulators and you have to inspect all the parts internal parts before installing the important thing also guys is that the accumulator which we will going to install we must be sure that this is of the same kind with the old accumulator membrane so I didn't show guys how to secure the main engine 
before disassembling the accumulator guys as usual guys we have to isolate properly the main engine so we have to close the air we have to close the lube oil we have to stop the lube oil pumps and so on guys so just follow the checklist we how to isolate we have to follow the instruction manual guys how to isolate properly the main engine for safety reasons once again guys the checking of membrane it should be done carefully we have to be sure that the accumulator that we are going to install it should be the same type with the old one so before carrying out this job guys all you have to do is to read carefully the manual and everything you do guys when carrying out some maintenance of the main engine generators or any assigned machineries which you are going to overhaul you have to read carefully the instruction book or the instruction manual so that's the place where we remove the accumulator assembly guys that's from the hydraulic power supply unit accumulator side so that is our main engine guys so this is our engine room workshop where we overhaul the accumulator assembly so that's how it looks the backup ring of the accumulator membrane so according from the instruction book guys the this side has to be cleaned properly and they now need to put some lubrication from that side guys it's the lubrication must be on the uh, the thread part or the lock part of the accumulator SMB so now I am installing the membrane to the lower half just carefully guys mount the membrane carefully and the back up ring must be in place properly just be sure guys that it must be setting properly although you have the instruction book guys in every main engine or in every machinery it's different type of ME accumulator assembly then there is an instruction for that certain type of accumulator so in this case guys this is the this is how it is being done and to assembling and disassembling of accumulator membrane so just check carefully that the backup ring sits properly against the membrane just like that guys you have to carefully sit carefully check and it should be cleaned properly that's the very important thing to consider guys when overhauling everything and every machinery now it is already installed and the next step is to install the other half of the accumulator assembly and just fit the lifting tool of the other half just fit guys and we have to mount now the other half of the accumulator membrane the accumulator assembly and after that we have to tight I didn't show guys the marking which we put before disassembling of the the other half of the accumulator so 
20 clean. You must use the compressed air for cleaning of the accumulator, guys. So that's the lifting tool and to clean properly before installing. And as I said before, that the top assembly or the upper other half of the accumulator it must the threaded part should be lubricated with antisys or the molybdenum copper slip guys so that is where lubrication must be after lubricated guys you have to mount easily or smoothly to the other half of the accumulator So just slowly guys that it will not damage the thread or the membrane so I didn't show the marking here just read your manual guys or just to be sure so this is only a guide for you to, for you to have an idea on how to overhaul the accumulator guys so this is the special tool of overhauling the accumulator. Now I'm already, I already detached the lifting tool of the accumulator and I already installed the, the, the tool for tightening and loosening of the other half of the accumulator guys. So, so just tight all the way down until it reaches the top of the membrane and you have the marking before just put the hammer ring or you can use the two pipe guys for easily tightening of the accumulator so just hammer guys and until to your marking from which you disassemble before so after that install the lifting tool of the accumulator and once you so that's the assembly the complete assembly of the accumulator guys once already installed then we have to install the, the lifting assembly of the accumulator guys so this is the lifter the accumulator the whole assembly of the accumulator guys so we have to be carefully protect the threaded part of the accumulator and the lifting tool guys because it is very important once it is damaged it will cause such a problem so we have to be careful when dealing this threaded part, this fine threads of the accumulators. So this is the lifter guys. And the cover of the of the charging ports or charging nozzle of the accumulator. So I hope guys that it will help you soon when you are disassembling or when you are overhauling such kind of accumulators so from the bottom part guys this this uh, this is the square ring so until here guys i hope that you learned something about this kind of video guys and if you are interested in this kind of topic guys please hit the like share and subscribe and this is jb23 vlog Thank you for watching guys, stay safe everyone, bye bye.